Alright, welcome back to another part of the level design tutorial. So, what we're going to cover in this video is just our basic level layout. And I'm going to be using GIMP itself to create the level layout. Now, think of this, this is going to be in your most basic form that you can possibly do. Um, so, let's just get started. Uh, I'm going to click New. Um, this is my standard image size now, 2048 by 2048. I'm just created. And then you'll see if you click on your layers that there's a, a background layer. So we just want to create a new layer on top of that. And then double click and call it walls. Now essentially we are just for the start going to create that first room. We can always add details later, but we want that starter room uh, as our basis inside of our level. So what we're going to do is just use the rectangular select tool. Make sure that your wall layer is uh, selected. And I'm just going to drag it out like that to about that size. And then I'm going to click edit and then stroke selection. And I'm going to fill it with a stroke line, a width of roughly about 12 pixels and click stroke. Now, if we select something else, there we go. You'll see that there is our basic walls. So in the mirror's edge level, specifically, it had three ways to enter through the room. So this would be like the far side exit. This would be the entrance where we entered. And this would be like one um, additional entrance. So this is essentially our walls and everything done what we're going to create inside of the level to start with. There are other walls, if you can recall, inside of the level there's another room area, but essentially that room is a carbon copy of this one, just slightly reversed. So in order not to make that too complicated, we're going to leave that area out. Um, what I am going to do is I'm just going to create a line over here. You can just click when you have your brush selected, click and then hold shift and I think it's the old control. Yeah. If you hold control and shift it like snaps to the sides there. So okay, let's make sure uh, there we go. And it's not drawing. I have no idea why not. Let's just double check. I think I might have used a uh, up, oh, silly mistake. Um, just note that if you have an object selected inside of GIMP, uh, then you can only draw inside of that object. So uh, in order to prevent that, hit Control A, there we go. And then it selects everything. So let's just try that again. Shift and Control, and there we go. A uh, slight bit of stupidity on my side over there. So there was that little room area inside. The steps would be over here, but we're going to ignore that because we're just going to start our level from over here. So maybe we should actually then just close off the area. There we go. So do only really be able to enter from over here. Okay. So essentially that's our, our wall side done we can just like add this detail in over here as well there we go just so you know basically what your level layout is going to be we're going to create a new layer and we'll call this um i want to call this medium details so what this will be is like your couch so let's draw the couch quickly. I'm still holding control and shift when I'm clicking away. So there we go. So essentially that is our couch, our one couch. We'll make another one uh, over here. Coffee table. Now you can give each of these items a name if you really want to. And then we'll just like put the this was like a little table section it had over here. It's a little bit further. It actually ran fairly far. So let's do that. And there's a little table. I'm just going to create a, this. This would be the side table. And we're just going to fill that with a stroke color as well. Click OK. Here we are. 
select all again. So this is essentially a quick rundown of what that level looks like. So uh, I'll bring up the video just now. It also had like a, it wasn't like a table area, but it had an area over there which uh, seemed like it was tables and everything like that. And then I'm just going to like make this is the window area. And what we'll do for the window area is let's fill it with a blue color so that we know that, yep, that's our window. So let's just fill that, oops. I drew everything on one layer, that's why it's not going to fill. So what we're going to do is, let's just draw a couple of lines. There you go, that's our window. Now, please take note that this doesn't have to be like the most detailed drawing you've ever seen in your life. You're just like doing a basic concept of where you want your placings to be of all your items. Now we can put like our small items in here as well, but as the small items don't really affect the, the final level layout, I don't uh, require them inside of my initial blueprint that we're drawing here. We're only drawing all the items that make like um, the, the big impact. So uh, all the walls are here and our couches and like the little table areas. The television we can put over here, but um, essentially in think of it like this. Anything that requires less than, I think this was actually said by another YouTuber, but I can't remember his name. Anything that can be moved by a singular person on his own. And I don't mean drag move. I mean like something it, you can just pick up. You don't need to list inside of your blueprint. So if a person can, um, uh, even this table, if a person can pick up that table by himself and move it, you don't need to list it in your blueprint because it's not required. If the couches actually are heavy and they need to be part of the level in, in that regard, then they need to be part of your blueprint. If this is like a permanent fixture that cannot be moved at all, then it needs to be part of your blueprint. So anything that is incredibly heavy that cannot be moved on its own by a singular person, you need to list in your blueprint itself because that will affect the game itself. So uh, think of it like in Mirror's Edge, if you put a car over here, um, the, the car will be part of the level. It's it's not something that essentially can be moved at any given time by the player. So the car needs to be put inside of your level blueprint. Okay. With that said, um, this is pretty much all that we're going to use um, inside of our level. This is our central blueprint. So uh, you can put names for it if you want. You can just like uh, use the text tool and then just put a name and call it couch it's going to be in blue now so you can really put the names down if you really want to it's not required if you do know what your level layout is and unless you're going to give it to another artist to do so um this essentially is my basic blueprint it might not look as much but you'll see what we're going to use it for in the next video so if you guys like what you saw please leave a like leave a comment i will see you in the next video and i thank you all very much for watching bye bye